Hey guys, so welcome back to another of my videos. So uh, as a lot of you probably know from my previous videos, uh, I'm always in search for uh, pretty awesome Gajira tones. Just wanted to go over what you heard uh, just at the start of this video, uh, which is Where Dragons Dwell by Gajira. So to get their, their tone that they use on that particular song, uh, as well as pretty much, you know, it'd be a great all-round tone for any Gajira song for that matter. Uh, what I have in front of us here is the door. So on here, this is uh, using just a free version of Reaper. Um, I've got the left track, as you can see there, and I've also got the right track. I record once on the left um, pan, and then I re-record it and have that second track uh, rooted 100% right. So it's 100% left, 100% right. So to start off with on the left track, um, I'll run you through the VST. So if you go to the effects tab right here, Okay, so as always, we have the G Tune plugin, which is just the guitar tuner there. Um, but the the main one that we're going to get into for the first plugin is Rough Rider Three. This one is your compressor. Um, so as you can see, the settings here, I've got the ratio at four to one. Um, then we've got the sensitivity at minus twenty nine decibels, and the makeup just to bring the volume back up. That's set to seven point three, and we want the attack and the release to be like as as quick as possible. We don't want any delay on that with the compression. Now, the 14 Cali Suite is the amp that I'm using, or the virtual amp rather, that I'm using on this example. This, as mentioned, will work both with the Architect Gajira and also the 14 Cali, so it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, it's more about the EQing and that side of things, and also the IR responses, the impulse responses, which I'll show you in a second. You'll be able to see the settings here. Uh, first of all, the first thing to do would be to set your gate, um, just so it stops any un unwanted noise on there. Um, so that's the first thing you do. Also, I've set it to mono and also the oversampling is set to high. I know that uh, on the Architect Gajira, they don't have this option. So just leave it as is. Be able to see the master. I've got that to six. Then I've got the thump, which in fact, let me just make this bigger. There we go. It's a bit better. So yeah, so we have the thump set to the right hand side. Uh, the presence just above four and the hair option. This would be on the 14 Cali. We'd set that right in the middle. The bass is at three, so we want to keep the bass fairly low. Um, and the middle is set to four. Violence is set to left, and treble is at four. Then we've got the gain settings. There's two gain settings on here. They're both set to four. And the bright channel is sent to the right-hand sides. So that's selected to the right. If we go to the first pedal loop, so you'll be able to see here, we've also got a gate set to similar to what the minus 74 is uh, just above it there. Uh, what you do want to make sure you have selected is this, which is essentially like a, a tube screamer at the start of the chain. Um, we've got the drive set all the way down. The level is set to halfway. Um, and again, the tone is just below halfway again. Now, where it gets interesting, once we've got this set up, as you'll notice on the cabinet part of the uh, Fortin or Architect Gajira, then you'll actually see that we've turned the cabs off and this is the ma the most important thing, I think, with this particular tone. You want to use the Ignite NAD IR, which we're going to get onto in a second, because we're going to use custom impulse responses that will shape the overall tone um, of, the, of, of the amp setting that we're trying to get. Now, on here, I've got what I will do, actually, is, is link these in the description for you. So um, we have a left channel. And also, we have a right one. So we're blending two impulse responses, which... Uh, an impulse response is pretty much like a capture of a cabinet. Um, so what we have here, we have the Guitar Hack original center on the left. Um, so that would be a part of the Guitar Hack impulse package. So I'll link that in the description. And also on the right hand side, there's this from Master Sirius, which is based upon a 5150 cab. Um, and it sounds pretty sick. Like it's, it's pretty spot on, to be honest. So if, if you're looking for that from Master Sirius album um, sound, you can balance that pretty much 100% to that impulse response and it would sound like for like pretty much. You can see here in the middle, this is the balance and you can actually balance how much of the left and how much of the right you want to be in the overall tone. Um, and I've got that set to 18% left. Something to note which will change the tone is the high pass and the low pass settings. So take a look here, you'll be able to see it's 84 hertz for the high pass, uh, 11 kilohertz for the low pass, resonance zero, delay zero, um, and then on the right-hand channel, which is the from Master Sirius side, we've got the delay at zero, resonance zero, 
low pass 8.8 .8 kilohertz and the high pass is 133 hertz next thing that we get onto here this would be the rear eqs so what we've simply done here we've got a four-way filter um three of which are selected so the third one isn't actually used you'll be able to see the number one we've set to a high pass and this just cuts out the basic end of of the spectrum uh then the second one so this one here this is a band so make sure you select band and the frequency in hertz is 4878.9 we're getting really specific but any anywhere around that region will be just fine um the fourth one is enabled as a low pass and that would do exactly what the high pass does for the low end this just gets rid of the high end so all of that fizziness uh and really sort of high end like stuff that you don't want in the tone um that will be filtered completely uh, so once we've got that eq that's the main eq um but the next eq this is a free plugin tdr vos slick eq so the only paid plugin here would be the 14 cali suite or the kajira archetype um so they're the only paid ones so with the tdr vos slick eq we've got it on the hf tilt setting i don't believe it's changed any more than what this uh, preset is this is getting to the end of the chain now which would be delay effects uh, reverb what we'll be able to see here, this is Oral River. It's, it's like one of my best plugins, actually. Um, what you'll be able to see here, we've got that at the default tab. We've got the variation types, which is the ER variation at three and the reverb variation at five. The most important settings on here would be the left-hand column here. We've got that down to minus 1.2. The reason for this is just so that it's not too, like, too wet in the chain. Instead, it's it's keeping it fairly on point because with Gajira especially they do play very very quickly and you still you want to capture all of those sort of picking sounds as opposed to it just fading into the, the mix too much so keep that no more than around 1.2 uh, on the right hand side you can copy all of these again but on the right hand side we've got the, the three ones the ER reverb and wet so keep the ER down to just i think that's around minus oh yeah it says minus 7.4 um then you want the reverb to this this can change according to the song according to the album um but you want to have that anywhere between six and minus one minus two and again change that according to the song and the same with the wet as well so you want to have that just above six and this is really really good if you want to get for example l'enfant sauvage i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that correctly but you know the uh the main intro there where it's it's quite echoey um and quite sort of a wet a wet sound on 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 the ears so you want to keep that anywhere from about zero to sort of one and a half two in in those cases and then drop it down if you're going for just more heavy riffs uh without the echo or delay um once you've got those settings this enabled will give it like you're pretty much 80 percent of the way there to be honest um, the only thing we've got after this would be uh, another EQ. So we're just EQing the crap out of this this tone here. Um, the last EQ, this is set at the end because what I, what I did pretty much was EQ beforehand as much as possible and in the most correct way. But then at the end of the chain, this is just really evaluating what you've got so far. Um, and then if you need to make any other adjustments at the end, just to kind of perfect the tone for you, I mean, this is completely subjective according to what guitar you have and, and gear you have. Um, but this will give you like the ability just to go in and it's almost like a post edit. Um, so in this case, I've got a four band EQ. Uh, the first one here, you can see it's minus five decibels um, and that's at the frequency of 1694 hertz. And this is make sure that one in the middle is ticked um because that is just like a band as opposed to like a, a low pass or high pass um so yeah once that's set the second one here again would be at three and a half kilohertz minus four decibels and the third one which is cl closer towards the high end that would be 10.4 kilohertz at 1.1 1 .1. and that is just a, a little boost of just getting that so you know when that when they do the scrapes and everything like that that would just give that tone, um, it, will, it will get it quite nicely. It will capture it really nicely. And last of all, a bit lower down in like the lower range here between sort of two and 500, um, we have a little boost of 0 0.4. So this is literally what I'm just picking out here according to what I, what I hear through the headphones. Um, but once you've got that, 
that is pretty much the tone and um yeah like it's, in my opinion it's a sick Kajira tone i'm always working on sort of tweaking them and, and kind of developing them to, to get a better more rounded tone but so far uh what is it now it's, it's coming up to march 2021 this is the one that i found uh, to be the most recent and I've, I've been using that for about a month now and it's it's a pretty sick tone um so yeah that's that's the settings videos uh or rather the, the settings for for this for this video so if you do like the video please feel free to subscribe hit the like button below um if you do have any video requests on any ideas or songs that you want like tones for or um you know covers of or lessons of just let me know um additional to that there is uh if you want to buy me a coffee for the morning journey to to work then uh, you'll see my coffee link in the description and that'd be greatly appreciated just for like one-off uh, tips if you uh, feel generous so thank you for watching and i'll catch you in another video thank you very much